shift for just a moment and talk a little bit about a bond proposal that will be on the ballot February 15th. That's coming right up. This is a very important bond program that is going to address the safety, security, and infrastructure of our schools. Uh, there will be more information coming, but I want to let you know that this is really a continuation of, a, of some work done by a committee back in 2020, but before the pandemic hit, where we were looking at safety and security. And the, the, the committee said, we think that these are some really important infrastructure steps that need to be put in. Secure vestibules, upgraded cameras, uh, more secure windows, and all of the electronics that help uh, make sure that our buildings are safe and secure. Uh, new door hardware, all of those kind of things, right? So that's really a piece of it. But in addition, because our buildings are quite old, uh, the plumbing, the electrical, the air handling, the ventilation systems that, that were designed 75 years ago or more, these have to be upgraded, they really do. So we're gonna be giving you the information about the proposal that's going to be on the, uh, the ballot on February 15th. It's a two-part ballot question. The first part is going to be about $68 million in the basic package. And the second part is optional. If the first part passes, there's an option. If we wanna add as a community air cooling to all of our buildings, that would be an additional roughly $7 million. So this is about a $75.5 million uh, proposal that we're going to be bringing to voters. You can find more information about this now and going forward on the East Chester Smart tab on our website. Um, I also want to talk for just a moment about some tours that are available. If you're interested in seeing the conditions of our buildings and understanding what items would be worked on, what would be replaced, we're doing tours starting next week for the next two weeks or so, almost every night of the week in the various buildings. And so if you're interested in getting more information about the tours, there's a link below that you can look at and check out and get more information. Sign up in advance because we have about 15 people max that will be going through each tour. I also want to just lastly mention that we're really excited about some work we've been working on for over six months now with the Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Task Force and uh, at, the, at the January 11th board meeting. We're going to be releasing some of the, the general recommendations and I think you'll be very pleased with what some of these are. Uh, so find out more about that. We'll be releasing some of that on our website uh, as we go, but also at the board meeting on January 11th. On January 25th, we're going to be unveiling our strategic plan, another item we've been working on for about six months. Uh, refreshing all of our graduation goals for our students going into the future and looking at some of the strategies that we're going to be putting in place to, to help teach to those. So I want to thank you again for all your support in 2021. We have a bright future ahead in 2022, and I want to make sure that we continue in-person learning safely, and I thank you for your partnership in that and in all the work we do.